to be back your girl is back in full effect okay with the colorful looks coming through for your girls let me not say that <laughs> before I end up disappearing for another six months okay but listen I am I'm so excited to be back just in front of the camera creating colorful looks having fun enjoying my makeup Today's palette is the Blend Bunny Cosmetics Primal Palette. As soon as I saw this palette, I was like, mm, another rainbow palette. Of course, you know, I have a million of them. But what really, really caught my attention with this palette are the shimmers. And it's because I don't necessarily have a lot of rainbow palettes or colorful palettes that have all of the, you know, rainbow just really solid dark rainbow colored shimmers and that's what caught my attention with this palette is the beautiful dark you know blue purple red pink green all of it of course i have you know yellow gold but just that's what really got me to buy this palette and it is just so so gorgeous i do love it like i said for me it's like a basic rainbow palette the blues in here i wouldn't say that they're true true blues you know like my shirt i would say it's more kind of like a purple toned blue or a blurple if you will but honey this blue shimmer that blue shimmer right there I fell in love with it, child. I fell in love with it. That is my favorite shimmer in this palette is this blue or blurple blue shimmer. It's absolutely gorgeous. I had so much fun playing with it. I put it on my lower lash line, as you can see here. I mixed it in with some of the purple on the top, and I just really, really love how it looks. Now, I really enjoyed playing with this palette. The mattes really nice bold pigmented shades um i don't have any complaints with them just like with the surge palette fell in love with the surge palette and it's funny because i actually like the shades or the color story of the surge palette more and i'll tell you about that or i'll tell you why in a minute but the reason why i really enjoyed this palette is because the matte nicely pigmented very deep bold beautiful colors as you can see i used my p louise base on my eyes i didn't you know use a white base or anything like that just my light p louise base um the beautiful dark purple shade here went in with that and as you can see that's on my outer corner really nice deep dark bold purple when i went into this kind of more light red tone purple up here I was a little concerned that it wasn't really blending with the dark purple like I wanted it to, but as I kind of took my time and just worked with it, they blended together really nicely. I think the dark purple kind of overtook that <laughs> lighter purple. I didn't really go in with the top row. I didn't use anything on the top row because when I would want a really bold, colorful look, unless I just really want to concentrate on blending out, you know, the edges. I typically don't really need that. So since I knew today I was going super dark, super bold, I just went with the darker colors. Now, I must say I can't wait to play with this again because I see so many different looks with this palette. Now, another favorite shimmer of mine is the yellow. The yellow shimmer I think is just so, so pretty. It's very, very pigmented, very gorgeous um 
gosh, I don't want to say super like sparkly or shiny because it's not really that. I have a lot of duo chromes and stuff that are really sparkly and shiny, but this yellow uh, shimmer, very, very pretty. So what I would say about the shimmers for this palette, I did go in with the shimmer, wet my brush a little bit just to make sure it laid down with a, not a lot of fallout. And they did just that. Not a lot of fallout. Actually, I don't think I had any fallout, to be honest with you, after spraying my brush. <clears throat> so, yeah, I just really enjoyed the shimmers, the mattes. I went in with the orange. Instead of doing the red, I went in with the orange next to that um, lighter purple. And then in the inner corner, I have the pink. So, I have this gorgeous matte pink shade here in the inner corner i did go in a bit with the yellow matte but i kind of knew it was going to get overtaken on my inner corner with that gold and everything else going on so no real no complaints about that for me yellows are always kind of tricky even really good yellows go in on the inner corner i can see it it's beautiful nice and bold and bright but then um, it kind of fades away as I work, <laughs> keep working my eyes with other colors. So yeah, it did go on nice and bright. And I know if I went back in and popped some more in, it would show up, but yeah, it kind of got overtaken by everything else. So yeah, just my overall thoughts with this blend bunny palette, this primal, I really like it. First impression, I like it. And with the amount of shades that I used out of this palette, as you can see, it was quite a few. I would say that I pretty much would be happy with most, if not all, of the shades in this palette. Funny enough, I didn't go into the white or black down here. I think those are really nice additions, though, for people who, like, every now and then when I do a matte look, I like to just pop a white matte in my inner corner, and I love the way that looks. I love how it just brightens up the eye. And it doesn't always have to be a shimmer. You can definitely do a matte white or a matte yellow or a matte pink or peach, something like that on the inner corner. And it looks beautiful. You don't have to always do a shimmer, which, you know, with makeup, eyeshadows and stuff, obviously. <laughs> I don't really feel like there are a lot of rules. You can kind of do whatever you want, but... I do love how that looks and I know in the future that black will definitely come in handy with deepening up, you know, outer corners, using it as a smoky eyeliner, just a whole plethora of ways you can use that. Now, that's just my overall thoughts, first impression on this palette. I am going to go ahead and just insert some swatches. I'm not swatching the whole palette. I think I will swatch maybe like these three rows or maybe even just these two rows because just want to give you an idea of how the swatches look on me just natural and live live and on my skin tone also um but what i was saying earlier about how i actually like the color story of the blend bunny surge palette better um just because i do have a lot of colorful rainbow palettes and with this palette, I feel like it gives me a little bit more of a grungy type feel. I can do a little bit more of like the deep, dark, kind of smoky looks with this palette because it does have the more kind of earthy greens. And even with all the tones in here, actually, I feel like, you know, over here as well, you get more of that kind of warmth and depth from the Surge palette than you do with the Primal. Let me just hold them both up so you can take a look at them together, just in case you're trying to decide which one you like better. You know, they are very similar. The Surge palette does have more of the kind of super bright neon pastel shades on that bottom row, along with beautiful, super duper light blending shades on the top row. This one has a super duper light blending shades, but instead of having those um, neon type shades on the bottom, they included the white and the black. So I think having both of these palettes, really, really nice companion palettes. You can pretty much do any eye look with these palettes and, you know, be happy with it. So 
yeah, I just want to kind of give my thoughts on comparing the two palettes to each other. This Primal palette, I believe it was $43, which is a little pricey, you know, for a palette. But for what you get in here, I don't think it's, you know, just astronomical or anything like that in regards to the cost. So... I'm going to go ahead, insert some swatches here, and then we'll just come back and wrap this video up. Listen, y'all, it's been so long since I've done swatches. I'm like, uh, how do I do this? <laughs> I'm like, do I have enough arm? What is happening? So um, I just swatched the last three rows and the black and the white. So this is the, you know, two darker matte rows, as you can see. Absolutely gorgeous, nicely pigmented, beautiful, beautiful colors. These are all the shimmers here, as you can see. What I was talking about, the really pretty, deep, rich, bold, pigmented shades. And then I did swatch the black and the white because I know some people care about the pigmentation of the black and a white in a palette. And the pigmentation looks pretty nice. So yeah these are some swatches on my skin tone very very pretty this lime green right here that is definitely on my to-do list that color is gorgeous so yeah that's just some swatches everything except the top row right here on my arm for you guys to see so yeah this was a lot of fun you guys i really enjoyed it excited to be playing with palettes again let me know down in the comments did you guys pick this palette up are you contemplating? Are you thinking about it? Or is it just another rainbow palette and you don't need it? So yeah, that's it, you guys. Thanks so much for hanging out with me, watching my video, playing around with this Blend Bunny Primal Palette, and I'll see you on the next one. Toodles! <laughs>